Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, Chris Aquino, para sa isang bagong edisyon ng Balitang Chris. Tapos sa hapon ito, pagpapalipad ng saranggola, patong gahan, sa galahan kung bayo, bagong rampahan, at abangan ang revelations ni Regine Velasquez. How do you feel now na in all these tablets, person claiming to be your dad? Sa isang one-on-one -on -one interview ni Chris Aquino. Na-appreciate nila lahat na ginagawa ko for them. Kasi alam nila na I own you. Sila naman talaga yung reason why I started doing this. Ang sarap! Velasquez. Mula sa simpleng singer na galing sa Bulacan hanggang naging sophisticated at tinanghal na Asian songbird. Ano nga ba ang makwento sa likod ng bawat awit ni Regine? Narito po ang exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview natin kay Regine sa Chris and Regine. Kapiling ko po ngayon mga kaibigan, the one and only Asian songbird, Regine Velasquez. Kwentahan mo muna ako dun sa movie na pangako ikaw lang. Yes. Um, ito yung second movie namin ni Aga. Yes. And Again, directed by Joyce, Joyce Bernal. Parang, ano namin to, reunion. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> From the first movie. What is a, what's the movie about? At um, saka ganun ang title na pangako ikaw lang. Parang it's a love story. Pero this time, mas medyo malalim siya ng konti. Kasi hindi lang yung love for your boyfriend yung sinatakaw. Parang ganun ba? Uh, meron ng merong other part involved like um, I'm very close to my father here in the movie and um, may ari ako ng flower shop wow tapos si Aga ano siya yung circumstances ng pagmimit namin sa hospital because my father's sick and then I actually fell in love with him while he was um, nakakoma ang umpisa nito is pa-promote mo muna yung album. Oo, yung, uh, yung OST. Yung parang ito yung soundtrack. The way you did, kailangan ko ikaw. Ganun yeah. din yung parang strategy mm -hmm. na yun. And hopefully, mag-duplicate <laughs> yung success na yun. Hopefully, yeah. Um, I guess from all the experiences in life, the mistakes, yung lahat na ng mga kailangan matutunan sa buhay. Tsaka, plus, as an artist talaga, ako lagi kasi akong gano'n na. Gusto ko lagi akong open to anything, to any kind of possibility. Kaka-birthday mo, di ba? Oo, oh, kaka-birthday ko lang. 31 na ako ngayon. Yun nga, at least you're still in the calendar! <laughs> You feel na yung last year na pinagdaanan mo, totoo yun, na parang ang dami talagang challenge, mga naging problema, naging obstacles, at opportunities as well. As well, oo. Uh, um, Kasi diba it started with R2K, uh, uh, the uh, birthday concert, na sobrang, uh, wow, fantabulous. And then that whole visa whatever thing, <laughs> diba? And then kailangan ko ikaw na naging super mega hit naman. So parang uh, lahat binigay sa'yo, the good and the bad, in uh, uh, talagang in, abandon. In span of what? A year? A year, oo. Oh, oh. Actually kasi, hindi ko maramdaman yun sa pagka-30 years old ko. Kasi, I've always been going through that in life. Since bata pa ako, pinagdaanan ko na yun na alam ko na pag may maganda, merong medyo hindi magandang bibigay sa'yo. Obstacles para lang for you to learn. So what have you learned in the past year? I've learned that talaga sa, sa buhay natin, kailangan natin ng balance hindi pwedeng parating um, yung, yung smooth, yung ride yung lang yung konti. Klaro natin, Reza. Ano, pwede ka na bang mag-state? Can you go and perform na? Um, hindi I'm pa. I'm still fixing it. Okay. We're still fixing it. I haven't really heard anything from my lawyer, but Oo. he's fixing it. He's fixing, he's trying to fix everything now. Sana maayos. So, hopefully, hindi ko alam kung this year yan matatapos or for another two years pa or Whatever happened to that Fernando Carillo movie? He was supposed to come back la, uh, mga December last year. Di ba nagkagulo-gulo tayo lahat? So, hindi na natuloy. But sayang, 
That would have been an interesting... Oo oh, naman. Ibang, ibang combination. Oo, no, ibang team up. What about a, a girl, a woman na makasa, makatrabaho naman? I'd love to, to work with maybe Jaja. Ah, talaga? I've always... Oh, oh. Feeling ko ang galing-galing niyang artista. Okay. Dati pa, dati pa talaga. Feeling ko so ang galing-galing niyang artista. You'd want to work with her and... I'd love to work with her. And, and... <laughs> ito medyo talagang... Ano oh. na to, suntok sa van, Sherry Hill, okay. and Dina Bonavi, yung mga ganon. I'd ah, love talaga. to work with them. Wow. So, what about sa mga tinatawag lang gizep? Yung mga young girls na up and coming, kanino ka impressed? If there's anybody na yung boss na sinasabi mo, uy, okay yan. Okay, so I've always said na si Rochelle. Rochelle na ba? Um, um, I've always uh, believed in her talent. I think she's really good. And meron pa isa si Carol. Carol Banawa. Ang sagunta ng boss na yan. Crush mo daw si Ding Dong the Antes. Natutuwa ako sa kanya. Siya ay sa si Kogi. Sabi ko, pag papasal ako sa bata, dalawa lang ako sa tulad. How do you feel now na in all these tabloids, there's this person claiming to be your dad? How stupid is that? When it comes to music, though, kailangan may constant reinvention. In your case, ba, is there a conscious effort to think of that? Is that why biglang choing short na hair ko, or oh look, I'm tan. Yung looks ko na paka ano ko eh, na paka experimental ko sa ganon ni. But I make sure though na kaya ko delen yung madadala ko kasi feeling ko naman na sa attitude lang yun eh kaya panung isuot mo dapat. You'll be able to carry yourself well. Because if you're not, then you'll look like a bad guy. It's good to once in a while reinvent yourself. You said in the movie that you're only a father and a daughter. It tackles the relationship of a father and a daughter. It's very close. How do you feel now that in all these tabloids, there's this person claiming to be your dad? I mean, when they saw me in the research, they said, Hello, you're the one who looks like Mr. Jerry. What's that? Are you just going to be able to do that? We're going to be able to do that. He claimed that I'm going to be able to do that so that I'm going to be able to do that. How stupid is that? What is that? And you look exactly like your sister. Yeah, I would actually go to that extent. So that I'm going to be able to do that. Diba kung ako, eh, totoong anak ng ibang tao at may mag-claim sa akin at may naramdaman akong iba, wouldn't oh, you oh. think na, di ba natural reaction yun ng tao na, ah, oh, my God. mo na for him to be claiming you. Sana nung 16 ka. And then, but even then, parang oh. feeling ko, parang, I would actually go to that extent para lang maging kamukha ko yung family ko. Kung alam kong meron ako <laughs> ibang family, di ba dapat doon ako? Oh, oh. So, yun lang ang naging reaction ninyo? Nakakatawa. Ang daddy mo, ano naging reaction? Ay, um... I don't like talking to them about it because eh, they they get very. Uh, oh, naman iki. Parang oh, no, ako rin may sa kanila eh, kasi parang dati nagtitirap kami, wala na mong nagko-complain sa akin eh. Ay, oh. nag nag nagko-complain, nag nag <laughs> claim oh. sa akin eh. Naghihirap kami noon, tapos parang sa din din ngayon, parang parang feeling kasi ng nanay at tatay ko, pinaghirapan namin yung anak namin. At alam namin oh. sa namin, tapos sa din din eh. ibang <laughs> At saka talagang they're very, ano ah, very pathetic ng konti, pero ano, pathetic talaga. Silang konti, saka talagang napaka-persistent nila ni Hindi, anak namin yan. Hindi ho. With everything he's been through in the past few weeks, what do you want to tell your dad? Yun, I'm just really very, very proud of him. Thank you lang, kasi parang hindi sila na napapagod sa akin. And what I like about my family kasi parang na-appreciate nila lahat ng ginagawa ko for them. Kasi alam nila na I only... Sila naman talaga yung reason why I started doing this. You think you would be that type of person na kaya mo is parang mag-settle down talaga at mag- I mean, talagang oh, to stop everything. Maybe not stop saying yung talent and you're a producer as well, <laughs> di ba? So parang, pero to scale down. Oo. Oh, actually, I... I would gladly give it up. What would he need to possess? 
um, he doesn't in the lack. He doesn't need to have anything. Hindi niya kailangan magpossess ng anything. But I will do that myself. I will give it up for him. Kailangan lang mahal niya lang ako. Yun lang. <laughs> Ganun ka simple. Mahal oh. niya lang ako at mahal ko lang siya. Yun lang yun. Siyempre gusto mo rin ng cute and short. Oo, oh, siyempre. Gusto mo magagandaan ako. <laughs> yun! <laughs> diba? Ayaw ko naman na. Oh. Ang anak ko. <laughs> Pero nagsushooting kayo ni Aga, I'm sure nakakapagkwento siya dun sa wedding preparations nila. Uh -oh. When you hear stuff like that, parang nakaka-excite ba? Na-excite ako for them. Yeah. Na-excite ako for them. Pero sa akin nga, hindi pa eh. Siguro hindi pa rin din talaga ako ready. Tsaka, kasi nga parang I'm so happy with my life now. Complete, kompleto kasi ako eh. Yung hindi naman ako, hindi kasi ako naniniwala na pagka wala kang love life, parang may kulang sa'yo. Parang mali yata yan. I want them to hear from you kung ano yung favorite line mo dun sa song na pangako. And can you sing it to them? Para preview it of the album which will be released in about two weeks time, right? Okay. Pangako, hindi kita iiwan. Pangako, di ko pababayaan. Pangako, Hindi ka na mag-iisa Pangakong magmula ngayon Tayong dalawa Ang magkasama Thank you so much for giving us this time And looking forward to the album And of course the movie And to look forward sa level na nang magpupulfill Nung pangakong yun sa'yo And thank you for having me Thanks! Thank you Maraming for having me. Maraming salamat. Balitang kwento. <laughs> at sumain nyo ang isa na namang edisyon ng mga kwento at balitang may katuturan at may puso. Hanggang sa susunod, ako si Chris Aquino. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Kung yan matatapos or another...